I saved the best campsite for last. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's free. We've just arrived at French Creek State Park, one of the more popular state parks in southeastern Pennsylvania. They have affordable RV camping here. I'm gonna give you a tour of the park and we're gonna take a look at the campground and I'll show you some of the best campsites here. Let's get to it. You can hear the birds chirping away. Here's a map of French Creek State Park. We're down here at the west entrance right now. We're gonna come up here and take a look at the main park area. Then we're gonna head up into the uh, the, the, the campground and there are multiple loops and uh, I'll show you preferable campsites these are campsites that I'd want to come back and camp in okay so now we're at the main day use area and the park headquarters is right over the in there Melody and Milo uh, are walking around checking the place out they have a few parking areas here it says they have a pool down here. I'm gonna go over and check the visitor center out. So this is the French Creek State Park and Forest District 17 headquarters. And uh, if you're camping here, you don't check in here. You proceed on up to the campground. That's what the sign says off to the left. So they have a tiered parking area at the day use area. And it, uh, there's a picnic area here. There's boat rentals, there's a pool, but the pool's drained right now. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Looks like they have a food stand. And that's Lake Hopewell down there. Looks like they got a couple shelters. Let's go down and take a look, closer look at the uh, day use here. Well, that's the direction we just came from. That's a multi-tiered parking area up in there. And there's the picnic area here at French Creek State Park. The pool is uh, drained. They got to have it roped out. But that's Hopewell Lake. A little bit closer view there. Looks like they have a a, uh, a seating area right there where that flag's flying. That'd be a nice place to hang out. On our way in, we saw a fishing pier. So let's go down on the shore of the lake, check out the fishing pier, and then we're gonna head up up to the campground. So here at the day use area, they also have a canoe and kayak rental. You can see where the pool area is in the center of your screen. And uh, they have some picnic tables, restroom facilities on this end as well. And they have a boat ramp and a fishing pier here at Hopo Lake at French Creek State Park. And here's the fishing pier right there in the center of your screen and I'm standing on a platform by the canoe and kayak launch that will assist you get out in the water if uh, you actually want to put your kayak right out here there's a short little uh, floating dock that'll get you out in the water if not can launch directly from the boat ramp. And there's uh, right here on the left hand side where, where they have some more boats and kayaks, canoes. There's a lot of lilies on the uh, Lake Hopewell. people out there in a canoe. So now we're gonna go up and we're gonna check out the campground. They have a couple pet, pet friendly loops. Let me get the map out, I'll show you. And I'll give you a tour of the campground. There's a water fill station as soon as you pull into the campground off to your right and it even has a pull off for your RV. 
And up there where that RV just pulled out, that's the dump station. I'll show you that here in a minute. And as you exit the campground, you have a sanitary dump station. We just arrived at the French Creek State Park campground. Just got out of the car and wow, you hear those cicadas? I'm gonna put my lavalier mic on and I'll show you the map. Okay, well I have my lavalier mic on now. This is a map of the French Creek State Park campground. I'm located right here in between these two loops, loop A and loop B. Loop B, you see these colored markers here uh, in yellow? Uh, those are full hookup sites. Loop C is pet friendly. So is a loop A. Loop A is also pet friendly, but you don't have the full hookups in there. So we're going to look at loop C first, then we'll come back and do loop A, and then loop B and D. I'm only showing you preferred campsites. These are campsites that I'd want to come back to camp in, the best campsites in the state park. Okay, we're at the start of loop C. This is the full hookup loop here at French Creek State Park Campground. A lot of these campsites have pretty good slope on them. This is not one of my preferred campsites and it's kind of short, but uh, I did want to go back and take a look at the hookups. See what kind of hookups we have. There's your water hookup. Thirty fifty amp electric service. Got a picnic table and uh, lamp post back there. That's a look at the campsite, but uh, not a preferable campsite because of the slope and the shortness of the site. Right across the street, you can see how that camper is uh, on quite a slope there. And for those that are interested, that was site C7 that we just looked at. Site C7. Okay, I just walked from that direction. Boy, those cicadas are brutal. Um, this is site C15, pet friendly. Uh, got some nice shade there. No over height uh, clearance issues with that site. Site's a little bit longer than the other sites that we've looked at. Looks like you're gonna have 30, 50 amp electric service, no water or sewer at that site. But you can, repeat, you can get your rig, lo rig level. So that's a site I would recommend. Site C15 in the Pet Friendly Loop. If you were tent camping, you could park your vehicle here. And then down over the hill, you have a large area on C24. It is a pet friendly site, but you could take your uh, tent and park your vehicle up here. And uh, set your tent up down there. You have a large area down there. Uh, to set your tent up, one of the better sites here, but not for RV camping. Same with site C25. Would recommend it for a tent camper. You can park your vehicle right there. Your vehicle would be on a slant. There are, there is no electric, either on site 25, C25, or site C24. And uh, you do have this large area back in here where you could set up a tent. And uh, this is on the uh, uh, periphery of the camping loop so you got a little bit of privacy back in there. Site C25 recommended for a tent camper. So here's the shower house for loop C. I just completed the loop. Uh, going down that way even these sites off to your right there I will, really wouldn't recommend them for an RV. You have to work too hard to get your rig level. There are a few sites that are right in front of me. Site C 39 I can recommend that one and even better is site C40 with that big class A sitting in there site C41 is the best site here right where that class A is and you can see how much of uh, how much room they have it's like a double wide site Let's see what kind of hookups we have on the other side 
Well, they got a water hookup. It looks like 3050 amp electric service. Hooah! Yay! Site 41 going down the book. Loop C at French Creek State Park Campground. This is Site 42, C42, also a nice site. It's double wide. I see a water hookup. Oh, there's the electric hookup. So, yeah, you'll have 30, 50 amp electric service and, uh, and water in that site. Another keeper going down the book. Site number 44, another keeper. And you also have a good bit of room there in Site 44. And if you have a smaller rig, Site C46 will do nicely. They have a couple hurts in the state park. That's one of them. Nice looking hurt. Well, this is hurt number one. And you have a nice seating area right outside of the hurt. And plenty of parking to go at hurt number one. Loop A is the second pet friendly loop, but it must be closed for renovation because the road is closed. Campground Loop B is open. It is not pet friendly, but it is open, so let's go check it out. There's site B3, and right next to it, site B4. Wouldn't recommend either of those. They have a pretty good slant on them. You'd have to work very hard to get your rig level. Let's go up the road and see what else we have here in Loop B. Continuing up the loop, this is the first site that I would consider camping in. It's B9. Let me take you back and show you B9. There's a water spigot, general water spigot, right in the front of the site. It's a double wide site. It is concreted. You have a concreted uh, picnic table area along with a fire ring. You can get your reg level there. You may have to level up a little bit, but you'll be able to get your reg level. And that's going to be a 3050 amp site. And you have a, a uh, fairly flat sitting area there. This is that same site, only a perspective from the rear. You can get uh, just about any size rig in that site. Nice looking site. This one's going to go down the book. That is site B9 going down the book for French Creek State Park Campground, Loop B. B11 does have a slope on it, but it is double wide. You should still be able to get your rig level, but that's, uh, that's a nice wide site, and you have a concreted picnic area with a fire ring. Not a bad looking site. I'm going to put that down as an alternate, site B11. That's going to be a dry camping site. No electric, no hookups. Solely dry camping. Continuing on the around the Loop B, I did find a site where you can get your rig level, B23. That's a look back at B23. If you have a smaller camping configuration, you can get your rig level. And that's your sitting area back in there. Okay, so for smaller camping configurations like B23, that'll work. The, uh, the pad's not that, parking pad's not that wide, but you do have this nice sitting area over in here. Site B23 is also a dry camping site. And here's the restroom facility in Loop B. You have a parking area out in front. And uh, I found another site that I can recommend, B41. That's site B41. It does have a left to right slant on it. But you're right across from the shower house. You have a pay picnic area with a fire ring over to the left there. And uh, you do have electric hookups. Let's go see what kind of hookups we have. Thirty fifty amp electric service. Cool beans. And 
here's a look from the rear of the seat. And if you have auto level like I do on my fifth wheel, you should be able to get your rig level. Again, that's site B41. Enough room for a fifth wheel and then your tow vehicle right next to it. Going down the book. French Creek State Park Campground. Southeast Pennsylvania. And as you exit site B, we have site B44, and I can also recommend this one. This is a double wide site. Also has a paved picnic area and fire ring. And that's going to be a 3050 amp electric service. Let's go back and verify. That is 3050 amp electric service. There's your camping area right there. That's the campground host that's right next to you. And there is a look back at the campsite going down the book i think i'm going to leave it here with site number 44. i'll have the upload and download speeds for verizon at&t and t-mobile in the written video description on youtube if you like these videos do me a favor go in right now and subscribe to my channel i'll see you down the road